everyone this is Tanpi back with another Linux desktop customization video and in this video I'll be customizing the Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop and try to make it look like Mac OS and as you have seen the results at the beginning of this video so let's just start this customization so the first thing that I'm going to do is go to the downloads directory and I have my project file over here now you can find the link of this project file down in the description of this video now hopefully this video will take less than five minutes to customize you just gonna extract it over here all right guys once you have extracted the zip file you can delete the zip file all right guys now let's go inside the project file go inside the project file again and here what i'm going to do right click on this install.sh click on properties go to permissions and make sure that it is selected allow the file to execute and before I run the script, I'm going to quickly show you what is inside the script so that you don't have any confusion what you're running. So these are all the commands that you're going to need to do all the customization. And I have done everything for you guys. I have spent hours figuring out all these settings and I have gathered all these commands that you're going to need to customize your desktop and you're going to just run the script so right click on empty space click on open in terminal and over here just type dot slash install dot sh press enter type your password press enter now let's just wait for a few minutes and everything will be ready for us and definitely go to these links and credits and i have provided all the links over here from where i downloaded all of my applications i mean the packages so make sure to check these out all right guys so as you can see that it didn't take that much time and it has already applied the wallpaper and that is because i have put the settings inside the script to change the wallpaper as well and apply the themes and icons as well so all right guys now here as you can see that some of the icons are not working properly so we're gonna make that happen so go to the downloads go to project file and then go to project file again and then here what you're going to do is go to links and credits and then just copy this link go to your browser paste it go to files and then click on this first icon pack click on download Okay, so once you have downloaded the icon pack, go to downloads and this is our icon pack. Just quickly extract it, click on extract here. Okay, so once you have extracted it, go inside the white server and open another window. Right click, click on show hidden files and then go to dot icons. And here just drag and drop all of these files inside the dot icons. And as you can see that it has already applied the icon pack for us. This is very simple guys. Now, as you can see that we are almost 80% done with our customizations. Now, what I'm going to do is right click on the dock, click on edit panel mode and click on move and I'll move it to the top. All right, guys, now I'm going to search for themes and I'm going to change the desktop theme to white star light. And there you go. You can see that it is already starting to look a lot like mac os and we yet have some few customizations to make so the next thing that i will do is search for plank so this is our plank dock now let's go ahead and change the theme for this plank dock so right click at the edge of the dock click on preferences and then inside the theme section it should be able to find the theme i'm looking for but i am not so i'll go to files and then here let's go to dot local share plank themes and there is nothing inside over here right click click on open new window then go to downloads project file project file again and here just drag and drop it inside the plank themes folder which is over here which is under the home directory dot local then share then plank and then themes just copy and paste it over here all right now if i right click at the edge on the edge of the dock and click on preferences then go to themes and change the theme to plank theme and that is it 
now i'm going to search for conkey manager and then go to settings click on run conkey get system startup click on location and click on add and then here right click click on show hidden files then go into then go to dot config and then select conky here click on open and select it click on ok and now refresh it now from here i'm going to apply a few conky themes so so i'm going to apply this one and then clock 4 and then music 2 and then system info 2 and then weather 4 so these are the ones i'm going to apply for the conky widgets now you can close it and the weather widget will work just give it a few minutes and it will show up so you can actually go inside the project file and then click on this readme file that i provided for you guys how to set up the exact weather information for your exact locations so this is absolutely free just sign up for openweathermap.org and then get the city id and the api key and just put them inside the con key settings and i have provided everything over here and yet if you find any problem you can i can make a separate tutorial how to set up the weather widget and i search for startup applications and over here click on add click on choose application and search for plank select i mean plank and then click on add application so this will start the plank every time you log into your system now guys let me just quickly restart the system to make sure that everything is working properly all right guys so let's go to themes again and just click on a different icon all right Alright guys, so I just applied the icons back again because some of the icons were not working properly. So yeah, now everything is working as you can see. Alright, so let's go to Docklets and click on Applications. Double click and right click on these applications. Click on I'm going to keep this in the dock if I click on the launch pad and I'll have this launch pad over here now if I go and just open kitty terminal and you will have this terminal over here now while I'm here let me just quickly make it a little bit clean so you don't have this intro every time you open by the way this is fish shell running currently running right now so if I type something and it will automatically suggest me all the all the directories and folders and uh, commands as well which is actually pretty convenient so let's go to downloads again project file and over here i have provided this fish intro text file so just open your kitty terminal and here just copy and paste these lines of commands one by one now i'm not gonna type this one because i don't currently i don't have this installed I'm just going to type I'm going to simply press enter type end press enter again now this line of command copy and paste it so this is to save the change that I have just made now if I close the kitty terminal and then open it again and you do have this clean and minimal look all right guys all right so we are almost done here but I'm going to do some tweaking on the top panel over here and if you want you can have it like this or you can right click on the panel click on applets and from here you can do some changes so if I go to downloads alright so from here you can download this weather then search for internet search box download this and go to manage and here you can add this and by the way we have a launcher here that I haven't told you about so if you press control and spacebar on your keyboard we should have you launcher but we have to launch the launcher first all right now is running so as you can see that it says hotkey is set to control plus space so now if i press control plus space 
we have this search bar that you can type any application name here and it will show up just like that which is pretty convenient all right Move the launcher on the left side or the launch pad i mean the launch pad all right guys now here's the thing you can use this file explorer so this is the nemo file explorer or you can use nautilus so if you search for nautilus all right guys so i had to select white star light icon back to make it work so you can use the default file explorer which is this called nemo or you can just search for nautilus and you can use this file explorer instead and this actually looks a lot more like mac os one important thing that i have missed that is i need to have these buttons on the left side because that is how the mac os does it so for that just search for settings go to system settings and then look for windows and from here you can select the left buttons layout and as you can see it is on the left side now all right so let me know which file explorer you, you like the most by the way this one doesn't have these colorful buttons but this one does have but this one but this section looks more like mac os than this one and actually you can hide this menu bar again you can press alt key to bring it back or you can hide it like this so it looks more clean all right guys so this is it thank you for watching i hope this video is helpful and if it was make sure to give it a like and subscribe i will really appreciate that and thank you so much for the support for the membership and i really cannot thank you guys enough thank you so so much for the support and i will see you in the next video